You said that, uh, so your current boyfriend is your second boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And you go, you, so you would, during college, you'd go on dates. Mm -hmm. Each and, uh, oh, and each and every one of those men, mm -hmm. they would always protect you. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And your choice to not get into a relationship, not yeah. do, uh, not be sexual. However, when it came to females, yeah. the women, your maybe female friends or coll not colleagues, uh, acquaintances, the me, yeah. mm -hmm. they were the ones who would always try to pressure you to mm -hmm. make you lose your virginity, get a boyfriend, smoke mm -hmm. weed, all the things you didn't want to do. Do you want mm -hmm. to talk a bit about that? Yeah, so that has been going on since I was in high school. And um, it was to the point where like there was this one girl, she would trick me. And she would be like, hey, let's go out. Let's go to the mall. And there would be a guy there. And she's like, oh, you know, I just want you to have a boyfriend. You know, it's time, you know. And um, that went on um, even in college. And I thought it would be different because I'm meeting different girls from different states and all this, all this stuff. But it didn't. And um, I told myself I didn't want to have my first boyfriend until I was like 21. So when I did go on dates, I would let them know like, hey, I know I'm not ready for that. I'm too young. I'm still a virgin, you know. And they would respect that and they wouldn't talk about it. But if I were to tell females, hey, you know, I don't want to have a boyfriend. I want to, um, I don't have, I want to have a boyfriend right now. I want to remain like, I want to stay a virgin. They'll be like, what? No, you need to, you need to like lose it. You need to do this. You need to do that. And with the weed part, I did not want to smoke weed. Like I, I told all of the girls around me um, in my dorm, don't want to smoke weed. So they locked me in their car. So I was sitting in the back seat. And they were sitting beside me, and there was two in the front, and they locked a car. So, and they started smoking weed, so it was basically a hot fox. Oh my gosh. And they, they, and they told me, they're like, since you don't want to smoke weed, we'll just make it. Like, we'll just, you just have to. Let's smash a window. Yeah. 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 Let's no, smash no, no, definitely not. That's why I always struggled with women, because it's hard for me to voice my opinion on what I think about marriage or life or God, and they just disagree, and they. Oh, that sort of behavior they put me down. I've seen guys do dodgy stuff like that as well. And that's the thing. Like, I, I was so lucky that the, the men that I would speak to, you know, or so associate myself with, they never degraded me on my choices. Mm -hmm. So I was always lucky. But females are not lucky in my life. I've, I've, seen, I've seen very similar behavior, not necessarily in, in my personal life, mm -hmm. but even just speaking to women a lot of the times, it is very much like a peer pressure type of culture yeah. with that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. And like, I've, I've had um, like either past like romantic endeavors and, um, and even just male friends that mm -hmm will be very accepting of yes. those types of values and women tend to be a little bit more pushy on them. It's very interesting. I've, yeah. I've seen very similar situations. And it comes from jealousy too because I, I remember so, yeah. this one female from my high school and I told her I was still a virgin. She was like, oh, that's nice. I wish I was still a virgin. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she just, but she was a little nicer about it, but some of them are, are not. Yeah. And it's sad because yeah, yeah I, mm -hmm. I think it does come a lot of the times from a place of either mm -hmm. ignorance or jealousy. Yeah. Um, just I, I think people are at some point able to reflect on their own behavior and realize that it doesn't make them feel good you know yeah. and 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 when you have engaged in that same behavior mm -hmm. and um and uphold yourself to those morals that they maybe they, they're not conscious of it but wish right. that they did they right. they're very like they feel guilty and they project yeah. it in a yeah. negative way for sure and misery loves company Absolutely. they were really trying to make me like yeah 100 like percent mm -hmm. yeah i think that women generally have to be very careful with their friends as well and you see yeah. this even with married women as well mm -hmm. oftentimes the reason why they will divorce is because they'll have a friendship group who'll be telling yeah. her yeah girl you're not happy right. mm -hmm. you're not happy you just need to dump him and you'll right. be so much happier single and it's just not the case unfortunately and sometimes are the, those are the ones that go to their husbands after which is crazy yeah yeah it's very interesting this um like hate men culture yeah. when it comes to women it's e even even people that don't proclaim themselves as feminists and mm -hmm. maybe they'll they'll say this some sort of statement like um like i just hate men and then yeah. they'll be like i don't really hate men it's <laughs> like well you okay are, are you a walking contradiction first right. of all but second of all obviously you're saying that for some sort of reason mm -hmm. and i just find it very interesting that a lot of people aren't able to separate like the that person's sex from from their from character. their character yeah, yeah and like it has there are horrible women out there yeah. there's horrible men Why of course give up? exactly mm -hmm. and seek out seek out good relationships whether that be romantic or a friendship right. i just yeah, yeah it's very interesting 
Yeah. It's your the only women that say they hate men that also need them for validation. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And they right. seek the most validation mm-hmm. from men. Absolutely. Yeah. How do you guys select for friends? I'm interested. What are the what are the key criteria? God. Well, yeah, you're yeah. Christian. You're only as good as the company you keep. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, girl, like you said, I I'd, I'd prefer people that don't go out a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, that's just not it doesn't fit with my lifestyle anymore um i enjoy being friends with a lot of people that are in relationships as well or married Mm -hmm. um and of course christians uh, believe in god go to church those kind of things and also females who kind of uh, have the same like goal in their future marriage as me like because i want to be submissive and i want to be like i want to let my husband lead if she starts saying that's ridiculous or that's stupid or that's sounds like you've got a few of these friends to fend off (laughs) at the moment (laughs) <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i I'm, I'm a big believer and you you really are a collective of the five people that you hang out with most mm-hmm. and i think there's a time and a place for if you if you have a good standard with your morals and whatnot and i think that some people are very called to help people and kind of help shape other people's um beliefs and behaviors but at the same time there has to be some sort of boundary or standard that you set for yourself and how you interact with these people and I have a lot of people like that in my life but um, I've I've come to terms in the type of people that they are and the type of friendships or relationships I can have with them and I I I keep a distance when it's appropriate and um, yeah yeah Yeah. it's the smartest thing to do too for our own mental health absolutely Female friends can be recruiters, unfortunately. Yes, they can. I think yeah. you will find uh, more peace in your life, too, if you're not surrounded by those friends that <laughs> are um, promoting things that you're, uh, you're, you wouldn't necessarily agree right. with or, um, mm-hmm. you know, Absolutely. desire. It just doesn't bring peace at all, because if I want to talk about it, there's just going to be, like, an argument or tension and you know females they hold grudges so it's gonna yep. <laughs> it's well it's very gonna... hard to cut people off but sometimes mm-hmm. that's what's necessary absolutely yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. by it's the way hard. quick announcements guys they they're like not scorpions evil. in a jar they will all fight the one trying to get out of the jar mm-hmm. women do not have true friends and why a woman's only real relationship should be yes. with her husband yeah i agree i always say my best friend's my boyfriend yeah Mm-hmm. I don't think women are evil, but... <laughs> I don't think we're inherently evil, but... Yeah. but, but yes. uh, it does seem to be the case, like, women will, like, if they are promiscuous, they'll, like, push their female friends to be promiscuous oh, yes. because they, like, want that... Mm-hmm. Uh, that They want to feel less guilty of, of what they're yeah. doing. Yeah, they don't, they don't want to be the only one. They, they, they want to be the only one. They yeah. want their poor decisions Herd to mentality. be reaffirmed mm-hmm. by knowing that these other women are also yep. engaging yeah. in the same behavior as a means to justify 100%. their behavior. And it's literally mental to me. Like, I feel like that's a, like, oh my God. I just, Brainwash. Yeah. Brainwashing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For shizzle. I think that's why it's so For much shizzle. easier as a, like a married woman to have other friends that are married. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You kind of, your, your goals are aligning. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. I can't wait to be a wife. That's like my, I'm that's so always excited. been. You and me both, girl. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> I can't be wait to be a wife also. 